Hey everyone, what we're going to do today is a crappy jig. I call it the green dream. In the vise, we have a 1 ounce minnow head that's painted watermelon pepper and it is, um, the head is on a size 4 eagle claw, little nasty sickle style hook. And we're going to get started here with some 140 denier black flat wax nylon thread. Let me get our base started. And we'll cut the excess off. Then we're going to wrap it down right around the hook point, in between the hook point and the barb. And the first thing we're going to add here is our tail, which is going to be this. This is a dark olive marabou plume. And before we even get ready to set the tail, um, what I like to do is that tip kind of looks like a paintbrush. So I'll pull some of these fibers back to where I think it'd be look okay. And we'll yank the tip off. And now when I brush my marabou back, kind of looks, has a better taper to it. And we're going to tie that in, oh, maybe half an inch or so behind the hook point. I'm going to wrap it up a little bit just to make sure we're nice and secure. And what I like to do is put my thumb down and then wrap back making sure we're all the way around the hook. And we'll trim off our excess marabou. Wrap it all the way up to the head and then back. Now we're going to add some flash. A couple of years ago this pattern would have been done with crystal flash, but I'm really liking this polar flash for these kind of patterns because I can add more flash and get more flash, but it's more subtle, uh, where the crystal flash is really, um, it only takes a couple strands, it's pretty, pretty bright, where this is a lot more subtle, but you can get a lot of flash out of it. Uh, I know it doesn't make sense, but you're getting a lot of flash. You can use a lot more of it because it's not as much. Uh, it's only when the light hits it a certain way rather than being all the time. That makes sense to you. It's almost like something that glows versus a, a light that's always on. And this is three strands of this. And we're going to cut it just about the length of the tail, maybe a little bit longer. And we'll do the same thing again. Three strands, fold it over. And our flash is in. So far, so good. Now, we're going to use a different body material. What I'm going to do is, this is regular olive marabou, and you can see the difference in color. Uh, I just grabbed a plume that wasn't, uh, even though it looks pretty nice, there's some bald spots in here, and I wasn't going to use it for much, but there was too much of it to draw away. So what I did was I saved it, and now I can use this. I have a use for it, and it's going to be the body. Because I'm going to, this is the base of it. I'm going to hold it there and square off the base. And now we have something to tie. We'll wrap it all the way back to our tail, and then back to the head. Now I'm going to take all this. Marabou, and I'm going to twist it. I'm 
twist it until you get it pretty tight. And I'm going to start wrapping it like chenille. The same way I'm going to want that taper like I get out of like I do when I wrap chenille. You just have to watch when you get to the top because it'll want to unravel on you when you let it go. So you have to make sure you keep twisting it. And once you get it to where you want it, we're going to wrap it up. And again, the only downside to this is having to get it in trying to hold on to everything and trim it off. Don't worry if you got stragglers or anything like that because we're going to take care of that in a little bit here. So once I have my collar there wrapped, cut some of these off before I do anything here. We're going to whip finish this. Two, three, four, five, six. One more time. Two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to take our little trimmers here. Now, all I'm going to do is trim the, the little stragglers you have in the top and the bottom. You don't want to cut them completely off because you want some of that fuzziness. That's what gives it a, a neat looking body and it looks really good in the water. But you do want them to be short. Shorter than what they were. And depending on the piece of marabou you have, you might not have any. If you have one that's like the, the fibers are real matted and short, you might end up with a really uh, tight body. Some of it will be really fuzzy. It's almost like dubbing in a way. I got a couple little ones here. I apologize for this. I had a really fluffy piece of marabou that I used, so. But you always that's one of the reasons I always say about saving scrap. Don't throw it away because you might end up being able to use it. And there you go. There's the body on this thing. We'll get a our forceps here, latch on, and then we'll get it out of the vise so you can see what we have. There it is, the Green Dream Crappy Jig. Little fuzzy body, you don't have chenille, need something in a pinch, grab a piece of marabou. Works just as well, and again, this, it really works nice in the water. You'll be surprised at what it looks like. Uh, works just as well as chenille. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.